Okay, so I am um, headed out today and I wanted to do my hair in sort of a pseudo like Zoe Deschanel tile style hairstyle. Um, I've been wearing it a lot this way lately. I feel like it's a little bit more me um, right now anyway. Uh, I don't I don't not do my beautiful structured 1940s and 50s styles, but I also really love a little bit something that's a little bit more freeform and a little bit looser with vintage clothing. So this is what I've been doing a lot lately. And I thought um, I would add extensions today because it's a little bit truer to the, um, the look that I'm going for. And so what I did last night is I barely wet my hair before I rolled it in these foam rollers. And so the hair has not taken a huge um, tight curl. It's more of a loose kind of wavy curl. And I'm going to unroll everything. I rolled it low on the head so there's none sitting up here. Um, and that way I won't get as much of that weirdness that goes on with trying to fight those clips, those clippy clamps. And I actually used a lot fewer than I would typically use when I was trying to do a full on retro style because the fewer that you use, the bigger the curl will be. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how that took. I left my Parks and Rec reference up there and <laughs> I didn't realize it until I sat down to film and I'm like, oh well. Usually I set it the night before because I think it's kind of fun to do. All right, so for this particular style, I am not going to brush my hair out first. I am actually going to brush it out after I apply my extensions. So I'm gonna put those on next. And these have already been brushed and curled. They have been waved around my, um, around my uh, curling wand. All right, so I'm actually gonna take my hair and just I don't know if I want to go, I think I'm going to go center parted. So, just for the sake of it. Okay, we've got mainly a center part there. Alright, and then I'm going to take my hair and I'm going to separate it at the crown of my head. You guys have seen me do this in a lot of my extension videos lately. Because I like using extensions. It makes me feel glamorous. I always make sure that, I mean, I'm not going to like double check the parting or anything because it's not going to matter. It's going to be covered up, but I am going to just make sure that I feel like it's even all the way across and it is, seems like it. So I'm going to put these on make sure they feel somewhat secure. If they feel like they're slipping, sometimes I'll go back and add a little teasing or a um, little hairspray, but they feel okay. And then I'll just take the curl the hair at the at the root and I'll just twist it around this extension and I'm going to twist it kind of in the direction that I'm going to let the curls fall when I'm finished and then I will feel for the top of that extension and I will make another parting usually about a finger width up I'm going to do another three clips three quick left This one here. And I try to keep my, this hair out. Because if you, if you accidentally snap some extensions on top of this, then it makes it really hard to kind of style your hair afterwards. So keep this like front loose hair out. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing going up about to the widest part of my head, which is I feel like right at the top of my ears. And what I'll do with this is I'll do two three clip wefts kind of overlapping in the back to cover like one long section right there. And then I'll take this one and put it right here. Just 
to sort of meet the one in the back. So now I've got this that goes all the way around my head. And now I am going to take these sections, put them over both shoulders, and I'm going to cut because I have already said that these are way too long, but when you have them off your head, sometimes you don't really know for sure where you want to cut. So the first one I'm gonna do is this one here, and I'm going to cut this way. Here. Okay, and see that's already given me a lot less length. And I try to cut them this way because it's going to give them more of that layered look. And now my favorite brush to use is this round brush because it grips the hair and really smooths it out, but it doesn't like take it and do crazy things with it. Like it's not like going to be a super, uh, it doesn't like move the extensions, which is important. So this is sort of the style I'm going for. I'm going to keep on. I've got a couple of dents from my hair roller clamps. so. I'm going to try to sort of sweep those back. And this just gives me loose, sort of like voluminous waves without a lot of structure, but it's super easy to do. And I feel like it always gives you sort of a, like I'll take different chunks because this is partly my hair, partly the extension, and I'll just sort of work it around, twist it. So this, because of the length now, looks a lot more like it's my hair, as opposed to the the, the fact that it's mad, that it's extremely long extensions. And when I take these extensions out, because now I have them to the right length, then I'll clean up that cut and make it look a little bit neater. But I don't think it looks too bad because it's curled, so I'll probably leave it today. But yeah, this is my kind of Zoe Deschanel inspired, simple, kind of breezy extensions tutorial and showing you how easily you can blend your hair with your extensions and how using, you know, even something as crazy as cutting them while they're on your head will give you a little bit more control over getting the look that you want. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Bill and Saucy. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. This was super simple. We'll do something more retro next time, but I was going to wear this today, so I thought I'd at least do this. I'm um, trying to think if there's anything I was going to say. Your response to my last video was extraordinarily warm, so sweet, and I really appreciate it. And I will continue to um, focus on how to t work fashion into my videos, maybe doing like you had suggested, uh, styling one skirt five ways or ten ways even. And we'll see. We'll talk to you later. Bye.